Okay, so this is going to go over a little more complex comparisons uh, for our script. If we recall, we have this uh, script that asks if you like pizza or pizza. If you like pizza. So it, it worked as expected. We type yes. What happens if we type a capital Y? That doesn't work. So, uh, you know, we need to make sure our users are, are we, we make sure we're, we're answering the input our, our users are expecting. So we're going we're gonna to talk about two different ways we can solve this problem. The first way, I created a new, new copy of my pizza.sh script. The first way uh, I solved it is not a very good way to solve it. So basically I went down and put LF conditions for capital Y, yes. And then I had another one for capital N and then O. So this is a bad way to solve it because in this case we're doing something simple. We're just printing out one line, but imagine you had 60 lines of code of something you were doing. Uh, so basically, you would have to copy the 60 lines of code here and the 60 lines of code there. And anytime you change one of them, you'd have to change them both. So that's really a terrible. This is really a terrible way to solve the problem, and you should definitely not solve the problem this way. I'll show you it does work. So it does it does work, but this is a terrible terrible coding practice because you're going to have duplicate code. So what we can do is we can do a compound comparison. So with a compound comparison, we say, hey, if this one thing or this other thing, uh, then do this thing. So in this case, we're going to do uh, a compound comparison with or because we want it to be lowercase yes or capital yes. Um, in Desire to Learn, there's a link to uh, operators, and that's this link. And it has some helpful things in there you might need while you're doing this assignment and these assignments. In this case, we're going to do this, this, this type of a comparison. We're going to do our comparison, and then uh, we're going to put a dash O for OR, and then we're going to do our other comparison. So that's what we're going to, we're going to do now. So we're going to do dash O. Ugh. Got to hit insert before I can type, right, dummy? Dash O um, dollar pizza answer equals y yes so in this case it's going to run that code hopefully for either yes or yes so let's go try this hey it still worked and then yes that still worked so let's go ahead and fix the code for the no side too dash o dollar pizza answer equals no no that's a zero no and then we get rid of this so now we have the the two compound comparisons where we uh we didn't we don't have to repeat the code now Do you like pizza? Yes. Do you like pizza? Yes. Do you like pizza? No. Do you like pizza? No. Do you like pizza? Blah. So our, our LF condition still works. So that's that's a better way to solve that problem. But what if you get like some some people that just want to watch the world burn and they do things like this, right? Are we gonna write comparisons for every possible combination? No, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna write code for every possible combination. But there is a, a way we can possibly we can possibly fix this. If you remember, we learned about the tr command. So let's just echo that and see that it prints that out. If we pipe that through tr and say, hey, I want you to take uppercase letters and make them lowercase letters. And make them lowercase letters. Then we can we can translate that code before it runs. So we'll go try this. I'm, I probably should have tested this before we did it, but we'll go try this in our input script and see if we can fix it. So we got the pizza answer. So now we want to we want to 
echo dollar pizza answer answer pipe that through tr right and then we want to store that in a variable and if you guys remember from our other podcast if you want to run a command and store it in a variable you can put that command inside backticks and that will run so in this case I'm going to call my variable pizza answer to I'm going to call it pizza answer lower lowercase so now I need to go change my comparisons to look at pizza answer lowercase so now in theory uh, it should work uh, no matter what I put in that in that variable yes worked yes worked yes worked no worked no worked no worked so um, that is probably the best way to solve that problem to translate those characters into uh, lowercase before you do your comparison. So those are, those are a couple of different ways you can solve it. If, if, you, if you don't want to be super friendly, you can just put the most expected answers in there. Uh, if you want to be super user friendly uh, and have a, a script that works better most of the time, you can use tran TR to uh, translate those, char those characters from a lowercase, uh, from uppercase to lowercase. So that that's the end of that video.